Hey guys, how are you? In this video, I'm going to read three tweets that I made, but it's going to give you a broader understanding of what learning code is all about and what coding programming is all about. This is from the perspective of somebody who's been coding since 1994. So first tweet, all technology's rate of change flattens out over time, eventually slowing to a crawl. Case in point, web development has barely changed since 2015. That's when HTML5 really took over. You could argue, argue 2012, but HTML5 took over in 2015. Now, HTML5, there's the language HTML5, but it represents a set of technologies that includes HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript DOM manipulation. The only thing that has changed really in the last, well, since 2015, in my opinion, are server models and DevOps. That's pretty much it. Yes, on the margins, you see some little additions to JavaScript, little additions to uh, PHP, etc., but nothing significant. Next point, today's top 10 programming languages will be in the top 10 languages 10 years from today. Why is that the case? It has to do with the uh, rate of technology change. It's been uh, many years now since modern web development has taken hold, so these days, these top languages include languages outside of web. And we're pretty much set up. If we're going to build a game engine, probably going to be doing with C, C++, maybe C Sharp. If we're going to do AI, we're going to be doing with Python, maybe C++ for the core. If you're going to be building web apps, you're definitely going to be doing HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript. On the back end, you may use PHP, you may use Java, you may use C Sharp, you may use uh, JavaScript on the back end and, and several others. So this is all pretty settled in, which leads me to my next point. People keep asking which programming languages are likely to disappear soon. The answer, from a JAWS perspective, that it, that it doesn't matter. Why? Because languages are just tools. Skilled programmers will switch up the languages that they use all of the time. So there you go. I hope these tweets make sense to you. When you're jumping into software development and coding, don't be too concerned about which language you choose, especially in the beginning. In the beginning, you're there to learn the basic concepts, the basic techniques, and you're there to just get those fundamental skills up and running. Later on, as you jump into real coding, you will be able to decide what specialization, for example, JavaScript web, PHP web. Maybe you want to get into Kotlin and mobile development. Maybe you want to get into iOS and Swift development. Who knows? Whatever specialization you choose eventually will be relevant to what you decide to do initially. The key point is just to get into the game, start writing code, start building things, and only by building things will you understand what type of coding that you may want to do. My whole bootcamp and mentoring program is based around that philosophy. I do teach the web stack plus Python and SQL and databases and a whole bunch more. And in the program, we have people who do a lot of Java work. We have people doing PHP and uh, Drupal. We have people doing PHP Laravel. We have people doing JavaScript and Node. We have people doing React and a bunch of other types of programming as well. So the key is to think more like a high-level professional developer where you're less concerned about the tools, you're more concerned about the skills. Because when you are a skilled developer, both skills will be transferable 100% to any language that you decide to specialize in. To make this concept super clear for everybody, if I had a job that had to be done with, say, back-end JavaScript, I would rather hire somebody with five years or three years of PHP experience or Java experience or C-sharp experience. I'd rather hire somebody with three years of experience as a professional developer rather than who knows nothing about JavaScript, rather than hiring somebody who's got one year of full-time JavaScript experience. The coder, the developer with three years of experience in those other languages, will probably be a better developer than the person with only one year or six months of pure JavaScript experience. I hope you liked this video. My name is Steph. Some people call me Uncle Steph. Check out below. I got links to my Discord channel, over three and a half thousand members. 
I have a mentoring bootcamp as well that people find popular and self-paced learning courses as well. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.